Close your eyes. Imagine stepping into a distant world, where the sun rises over vast forests with no flowers, only towering ancient ferns. There are no birdsong, no cries of mammals. Here, life takes on a form entirely unlike anything you know. A world 300 million years removed from our own, an age scientists call the Carboniferous. An era where size was not just power, but the very key to survival. This is the dragonfly we know, a delicate, graceful little creature. But its ancestor was a monster. The Carboniferous was a truly unique chapter in Earth's history. The continents had merged, forming vast, humid lowlands and endless swamps. Here, the first great coal forests took root, flooding the atmosphere with oxygen. At its peak, oxygen levels may have reached 35% far higher than today's 21%. And it was this abundance of oxygen that sparked a revolution in size. Insects breathe through tiny tubes called trachea, a system that relies on oxygen simply diffusing into their bodies. With so much oxygen in the air, it could penetrate deeper than ever before, allowing these creatures to grow to enormous sizes without suffocating. Meganeura was not alone. This was an age shared with other giants, like Arthropleura, the millipede stretching over two meters long, and Pulmonoscorpius, the colossal scorpion. But in the skies, there was only one king. This is the moment we meet Meganeura. Its name means large veins a nod to the intricate network of veins tracing its wings. Its wingspan was not just vast. It was a work of art, stretching up to 71 centimeters, nearly matching that of a full-grown pigeon. With its enormous compound eyes granting a sweeping field of vision, Meganeura was a true warrior of the skies. Its razor-sharp jaws never rested, ready to seize any creature small enough to become its next meal. Contrary to what many might imagine, Meganeura was not a clumsy, oversized dragonfly. Its body was sleek and built for speed, perfectly adapted for agile flight. It was among the very first insects to master the art of soaring through the air. In this primeval world, a meal could appear at any moment. A primitive amphibian hunts for fish, blissfully unaware that a predator lurks above, watching, waiting. Meganeura was no noisy hunter. It was a silent stalker, gliding through the air, its many eyes scanning relentlessly. And once it locked onto its prey, it struck with blinding speed. Suddenly, it strikes. Hundreds of millions of years of evolution have shaped a perfect aerial killer. It dives, needle-sharp legs locking onto its prey, jaws snapping shut to end the struggle in an instant. Meganeura was more than just a giant dragonfly. It was a symbol of dominance. In that moment, it was no mere insect. It was a flawless predator, a true king of the skies. Before it ever ruled the skies, Meganeura lived a very different life. Its journey began beneath the water's surface. As ravenous larvae, they were fierce aquatic hunters, using strength and speed to snatch up smaller creatures in the murky depths. But even beneath the water, life was a constant battle. Another predator always lurked in the shadows. With every narrow escape, the Meganeura larva learned a vital lesson, how to survive in a world teeming with danger. To grow like all insects, 
they had to shed their skins. That final molt was a moment of transformation. The larva climbed out of the water, and in an ancient ritual, its old shell split apart, revealing a brand new form beneath. And from the husk of its former self, a king was born. Its wings, soft and crumpled, would spread and harden within minutes, ready for that very first flight. A new ruler had risen. But nothing lasts forever. By the end of the Permian, the Earth was reshaped by cataclysm. Massive volcanic eruptions altered the very makeup of the atmosphere, causing oxygen levels to plummet. With less oxygen in the air, keeping such a massive body became a losing battle. Smaller, faster-breathing insects began to take over. And then came the first birds and flying reptiles, swift new predators that would claim the skies and end Meganura's reign once and for all. Meganura was more than just a giant insect. It was living proof of how far life on Earth can adapt and evolve. A timeless reminder that our world has always been, and will always remain, a place of wonder and mystery. The legacy of Meganura still lingers, a reminder of an age when flying giants ruled the skies, leaving an indelible mark on the grand story of life on Earth. So, what allowed this giant insect to exist? You've already learned part of the answer. If you enjoyed this story, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you won't miss our next adventures. and tell us in the comments, which Carboniferous giant should we explore next? Pomanoscorpius, the cat-sized scorpion, or Arthropleura, the colossal millipede that could grow over two meters long. Cast your vote now and let us know.